Alright, what is up guys? Neogazi Storm here and welcome back to Pokemon Vault White. But this time we have a special guest with us. Please introduce yourself. Hey there YouTube, what's going on? It's me, 8000 Epic Dude Law, or you could just call me Evan. Uh, I am one of Neogazi Storm's friends. And uh, yeah, it's really great to be on here today for this episode of Vault White Nuzlocke. Well, it's not necessarily a Nuzlocke, it's just a regular playthrough. I will do well, a Nuzlocke that. of Vault White 2. However, uh, the Nuzlocke's. But anyways, yeah, we're here at the gym. And we're about to start rage quitting, possibly. With, because of this team, is just... We have Elise here, level 19. We have Snivel, the Servine, level 23. We have Pidgeless, the Pidgeotto, level 21. We have Ponyo the Panpour, level 19, Sparklet the Luxio, and Aaron the Aaron. Aaron the Aaron. Yes, I couldn't think of any other name, just Aaron. That's, yeah. Alright, so let's begin with the Rage Quits. Yes, let's go fight his first gym trainer. Alright, we got this gym guy. Atmosphere, fresh water. Okay, there we go. Free water! Free water is the best kind of water because it's free, but then again, all water is kind of free. Yeah. Unless you get it from a vending machine. Uh, yes, yeah, unless you get it from a vending machine, which would be totally outrageous. So, anyways, we got this first trainer right here. I hang around Pete for at Night Green Gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. No surprise. I'll warn you, I'm strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. Well, in that case, you should have been champion days ago. Did you? Alright. Yeah. Because if you, like, train Pokemon while you read books, you could probably beat the Elite Four with one hand behind your back. Yeah. Alright, you just sent out Napalm, level 18. Let's send out Elite here. Get that trace up. Pick just up. hope that Napalm does not have Fake Out, and you'll... Be fine. Yeah. So I'm gonna head off with Scythe. Oh, he has Astonish. Ooh, Astonish is worse. Alright, this one is a lot of damage. Yeah, really. So did Scythe. Alright, second turn. Scythe, no Fury Spike. Oh no, this is. If it. Oh god, that's not gonna be good. Oh, just survives 2 HP. Oh my god, the 2 HP though. The 2 HP clutch. Alright, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Aaron, being though he can easily take all your pitiful Fury Swipes and Astonishes. That Steel Typing could probably help you in the gym because I don't think like any of the normal type trainers or their Pokemon know like Fire type attacks. Yeah, but I'm trying not to get at least too much heat here because I know at least one of these trainers has a Dark type. Specifically, bite or something like that. Yeah. And that's gonna be a problem specifically going up against the gym leader because I think the first Pokemon that the gym leader has will have bite. So. I would kind of be worried about that a little bit. Alright, next we got Snubble. What is Snubble Banish to become Berry type? I will never know. Uh, see, I don't get that. I mean, Snubble's a dog, and so is Gramble, but why did it become a fairy? It shouldn't have. It's just a bulldog. Bulldogs can't grow wings and fly and such. I have a, th I have a theory on why it became a fairy. It's because of its Pokedex classification. It's the fairy Pokemon. It was like, what? Since when? It's a, it's a bulldog. It's a bulldog with a dress on. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That's not yeah, like Pokemon have hidden ability tools which are flipping monstrous. Like this Luxio, like how does it change? It has guts. That guts though. Yeah, and it also weren't night slash. Something I never thought would have been on a Luxio should have had, but it isn't. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. 
the mi the mystery of Pokemon grows bigger and bigger as each generation comes up. One thing I did like about whoever made this round hey, is that they made Luxio Electric Dark. So I oh, kind of uh, it better. Uh, yeah, I, I seriously think Luxray as an Electric Dark type would be good. Because it gets, like, it's dual type, and it's a good physical attacker, so... It's just my opinion. Alright, this battle is going on far too long. We got to speed it up here. Oh, wow, that double slash did a lot. But I get the nice Was it a crit? Yeah. Crits. Them annoying crits though. Oh no, he sent out Look at Tom. Well, they could much, right? Right? Ah, uh, hopefully not. Ooh, I get the Parahex one. Ooh. Yay, Parahex. Cause you know, kids, Parahex makes the world go round and round. Yeah, and the Breeze Hex just destroys stuff. The Freeze Hex just makes the world stop. And, and the burn hacks don't even get me started on the burn hacks. And then you have the confused hack, which is worse. The confused hacks makes the world slap themselves every day. It's called face palming. Like that one moment when you think you're gonna get that attack, and then no other Pokemon attacks itself. Like, dang it! And that one screw up probably cost you the whole battle. Yep. Alright, so we defeated the first trainer. I wonder if I can use XSplit to like try and call you in a video sort of thing so you can see my screen. Uh, I, well, I'll turn on my video if you want. All right, hang on. I'm going to try to do this real fast. I'm going to make this thing blank so you guys can't see nothing. Like you can just turn on your screen share. I don't have. I can turn on my video or if you want. Just if you have screen share available, then you can do that. Yeah, hold up. See if this works. Oh no, it won't work, I don't think. Wait a sec. Can you see it or is it still like a... Thing? It's it's like loading, it's giving me the loading circle. Alright. That loading circle though. I swear, if I find a shiny... Charmander on my X version, I, and if I flip out during your co during the commentary, I'm sure everyone's gonna be like, "What the heck is that guy doing? <laughs> Why is he freaking out?" And they'll just be like, "Nah." Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I want to read this first book in the bookshelf. <clears throat> What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on a bookshelf in the middle row. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Is that what it said? Yeah. Well, technically, since it's not 5th generation, the first Pokemon you met was Apom. Yeah, that Apom, but since it's a ROM, I guess they didn't change that part. Well, the first Pokemon you would technically meet would either be Patrat or Lillipup. Yeah, the Patrat. The biology of Patrat. Eventually, it'll take you to the biology of Tepig. Yeah. I remember when I first played this, this flipping library gym confused me. I know. It's like, it, it's like you have to be like Professor Layton in order to freaking solve it. And it's like... I'm here because I want to create a complicated puzzle for for the for future gym trainers. Or did and it's like pop up on your side yet? Uh, it hasn't. It's still giving me a loading screen. I don't know why. Might as well try and turn on. Oh, didn't do anything. Did it say? Did it like say fail or something? Did it fail? No, I I think. Turn on that screen share, though. Oh no, anything but the evil screens of doom. 
says, please run XSplit Broadcaster enable output to virtual camera. What is that? Alright, we'll save that screen share for some other time. Alright. Alright, so anyways, we have to go do this gym. Is <laughs> someone may be reading it, so we're just gonna go to this lady in the back row here and talk to her about it. Just be just just be like, excuse me, ma'am, can you get out of the way? Let's battle! Battle starts. Yeah, it's like that's like the major troll part of Pokemon. You're trying to get past someone that's like, nope, you can't get past here unless you beat me first. Let's battle! And it's like... <laughs> Sometimes they're even stalkerish, it's like... Oh, is it seriously a posture? Yes, it's a posture ditto! Oh no! No! It's not good! We're all gonna die! I have to send out Elise. What is it, Elise? Why? 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 Ditto, why you do this? Why you do this? Marco, you know you fight me. Why is that? Wow, that did way more odd than the confused hacks. Oh, no. That awkward moment when you send out your own Psychic-type Pokemon does nothing, but you get the confusion. But the, or they get the confusion. Alright, very good. Hit, 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 so. Very, very good. That is perfect. Get that, get that brush tail thing going. Yeah. He got arrow balls? What the hell? What the hell? Arrow blast? Are we serious here? Yes, I had arrow blast. How does that work? Did he like sketch a Lugia? Did it, like you sketch on a Lugia? I think this trainer has been watching the episode of movies. Who also else? has booty, which is even worse. Oh no. And it has hypnosis, which is even worse. Oh frick. That is not good. Like, doesn't hypnosis affect every Pokemon other than psychic types? Like, I like, for example, like Oh man, how do I put it? Like Like if you use a fire type status move on a fire type Pokemon, it won't work. Same goes for like Grass type on grass type Pokemon, and vice versa. Yeah, that Leechy just took it down, thankfully. Thank God for Leechy. Thank Lord Helix. Thank the Lord Helix. That Twitch plays Pokemon, though. Yeah, let's hope the false prophet doesn't interfere with this recording. Yeah. False prophet don't. No. I, I mean, really, no. The Lord Dome needs to just stay down with the False Prophet Flareon. If it's download, you're dead. If it's analytic, you're dead. I think it had download, but it increased attack. So I think I'm good. Alright, well as long as it... See, that's the thing with download. It's like a hit and miss. Because if you... If it raises attack, and you're not physically like physically offensive then really that's not good but if you get like the special attack raise and you're specially offensive then you're gonna be golden at this point you're just gonna sweep everything in your path yeah that's why it's like 50 50 chance that it might increase attack and or um special attack like, and it's special there's attack. like no guarantee for it like uh oh, charm and fix catching Cast form will like 
have weather moves and then it will just freaking change into whatever it wants. And it just gets stabbed all over the place. Yeah, but the thing is we have to think about which arm you want to go with. You could go with like a sun stab sort of thing. Oh, it used powdered snow and it got the what? Oh my god. Really? Really? Oh my god. About two thirds of my team is now inflicted with a status effect of some sort. It's getting ridiculous. This is no good. Then I still have like one more trainer before the actual gym leader. Oh my god. This is what I mean. This gym is a troll. This is a troll freak. How could you? I it's like the people that actually made the ROM hack, but then again, it, it is more fun and more exciting. Yeah, I have to agree. Considering that it playing playing like Volt White or Blaze Black, it doesn't matter which one you play. It's still the same game. Same goes for the remakes. They're both really great games. I've seen people even do Nuzlocks of them. Yeah. And it just makes it even better. I mean, just... Wow. Yeah, and I was thinking about finishing that Heart Gold Nuzlocke that I started earlier. Yeah. But still, Chinio died in that Nuzlocke! Yes, Chinio died! That's partly like the reason why I never recorded after that. Chinchou is like one of my favorite water types. Of Gen 2, anyway. And also, it was like something up with the ROM or something like that, that it kept, like, freezing and stuff, and I kept having to reset it, and I knew I couldn't do that on XSplit, because XSplit stupidly can't pause the video. Yeah. Alright, going back to the Pokemon Center, because those guys are serious trolls. Yup. Alrighty, man. I'll just take my Pokemon, lady. Don't need all your needless jabbering and stuff. B basically, it's just like, Hello, welcome to the Pokemon. Shut up and take my Pokemon. Yes, exactly. You don't have. We don't have time for your silly intro and stuff. We just need you to heal Pokemon. You heal Pokemon, Capisho? Capiche? Yeah. No, it, it won't work. We gotta do a speech before we do it. You're like, yeah, I hate this job too, but we all gotta do it, okay? Let's just get this over with and heal your dastardly Pokemon, okay? Everyone's happy. Yeah. Are we gonna read that first book on the first shelf again? It should take you to the biology of Patrat, and then it'll take you to the biology of Tepig. Yeah, it's like the troll one where it's like, you go one step back, two steps left, one step right, one step up. The answer? You figure it out. I'm sure if Professor Layton were there, he'd be like, solving this puzzle like insanity. He'd be like, I know what to do. Da 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 da. Puzzle solved. Exactly. Or I don't wanna just ruin the dreams of this girl, that is if she doesn't want mine first. Break them hopes and dreams, though! Here's a Buneary. I have a very bad vibe coming off of that Buneary right now. If it's got Dizzy Punch, Ice Punch, because Buneary and Lapini are both physical, and I've seen someone actually run a Lapini that is deadly. Cheese and rice. It just used frustration instant death. What? You gotta be kidding me. That Buneary must really hit your trainer then. See you try doing some of those physical attacks on Aaron Aaron the Aaron. It's a steel type, it can't die from a normal type attack. Can it? It, it, it only took about four damage and two quick attacks so far. It did it did jack squat. You see? You see what Aaron, how Aaron is just... How much, how much damage did it take? Like 10? Yeah, so far she used two quick attacks and a frustration. And all it did, like, eight damage. 
Low. I'm just like, well. Are you trying to endure the hip? In before it lives with one HP. <laughs> oh god, the jiggly, the jiggly puffs is coming. Oh no, anything but the jiggly puffs. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to puff your jigglies or whatever that joke was. Jiggly. I don't know what it is. Aha, uh Aaron -huh. eats your pitiful pound like it was pound sandwich. Pound cake for the win. Not really. But still. Oh my goodness. The troll, the rage though. The rage and the troll. The cute charm though. The cute charm hacks. Ah, oh, the troll. 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 I am not. All together now! It's one of those all together now moments. Where it's a musical number all throughout the rest of the episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Love is pitiful! <laughs> Stop on that Jigglypuff like it was a, a... I don't know, a balloon? It is a balloon, right? It's... Stop on the balloon! <laughs> it died. The end. I mean, I mean, Delcat is really weird. Like, its stats are so... I, I don't know, off? Like, I'll pull up its- I'm gonna pull up its base stats. In X and Y, obviously, not in Gen 5. I'll pull it up in Gen 5, too. If I can find it. Yeah, see, Del candy has got, like... Good offense. It doesn't have good offensive stats, but it's like HP and speed are both 70 in Gen 6. Yeah, I mean it's good support, but it's not good as a, a attacker. Like it's good in doubles. That's all I can say for that one. And it could be good. It, it's actually good on a mild normal doubles team. Alright, so now he's out. Clefairy, so we're gonna start to take that down. Easy. That Clefairy, though. Ooh, avoid that same. Oh, avoid it again. Now, now I have a question that I have to pose to, to everyone here. Why didn't Del Caddy become a fairy type in Gen 6? Yes. It's the same reason why Lilligant didn't become fairy type. I mean, Whimsicott and Grand Bowl got fairy typing, but Del Caddy and. Lilligant I mean, I mean, really? Really? Yes, it's like all the Pokemon that should have became fairy didn't become fairy, but all of the Pokemon you wouldn't even expect to come to become fairy became fairy. Like, Troll Freak, Troll Freak, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Yes, we did I think, Kaini, well, not Kaini, but, um, when this guy, it sort of makes sense that it became fairy, but why not Lilligant? Yeah, I mean, Lilligant looks like a fairy, so it's a, well, Penelil can be a pure grass type, but Lilligant is a fairy. Plus, Delcaddy's egg group is fairy. Exactly. Egg group. Exactly. Like, why didn't this thing become a damn fairy type? Pardon my excessive cursing, but still. It's like so many questions that Game Freak refuses to answer. It just, just. It doesn't make sense! I finally defeated her. I'm gonna go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. Then I think we're gonna end off this episode. We're gonna save the gym bed and stuff for next episode. For the next episode of Pokeball Z. <laughs>
is heal Pokemon, lady. I don't need your whole speech. You've been over this. And, and before death, though. It's like your Pokemon could be constantly dying, and she like refuses to heal your Pokemon until she gives the speech. Next thing you know, your Pokemon's dead. It's like speech, speech. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Oh, <laughs> there's Joy. You killed my Pokemon. You're supposed to be the nurse. And then, and then, just imagine like Nurse Joy being a devil. I don't care. I know this was all planned. Why do you think there's a graveyard in the backyard? <laughs> Evil laugh. That's kind of and then and then the lavender lavender town things. Bum 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 bum. It's just like, oh my god. All right, so we got Lenora here. Like I said, we're gonna save her for the next episode. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down there What is that little button you see down there. Yeah, hit that, hit that little button. thumbs up button, guys. Seriously. And be sure, if, if you enjoyed this co-commentary with 8000 Let's Do Law here, be sure to let me know, and I'll be sure to do some more co-commentary that is if he's available more. Yep. Alright, so we'll see you guys next time. Stop recording.